removed them. And then he kicked them out of the garden. Kicked them out of the garden. But before he kicked them out of the garden, he cursed the serpent and he cursed the ground and he told uh, Eve that she was going to have pain in childbirth. Yes, yes. And now we're going to go to they kicked him out of the garden. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Have you been kicked out of the garden? Wow. Where are you today? Mm -hmm. I know you hear God. But something is making you afraid. Wow. Yeah. Sin makes you afraid. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yeah. And sin causes shame. Deep your God who created and separated and created the worlds and chose you before the very foundation of the world. It's yeah. calling you. Where are you? Oh, He's yes. summoning you yes. to come back in, 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 in fellowship with me. Yes. Yes. I'm lonely for you. Yes. you but I was afraid because I was naked I wonder what would have happened if he just said he was afraid but because he said he was naked God killed an animal and covered him covered them covered them yes to Christ killed the lamb the lamb that was slain from the very foundation of the world for our sins he killed an animal and covered them and kicked them out. Thirsting for God. Then Psalms 41 says, As the deer longeth for the living God, as the deer thirsts for water and pants, pants and hungers for water, so we thirst and hunger for the living God, the God that created us. The God that formed us, the God that breathed that deep breath into us and made us like them in his, their image. That's the God we long for. Deep calleth unto deep. As the deer thirsts for the flowing stream of water in a time of drought, we should long for our living God. Just as the deer thirst, you know nobody has to tell a deer to drink when it's thirsty. Anybody had to tell a dog to drink when it's thirsty? Anybody had to tell any other kind of creeping thing or animal to drink when it's thirsty? No! So why do we have to tell born again believers to study God's word, to show yourself approved unto God, to keep God's stamp of approval on your life? Oh, I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. Oh, where are you, God? Where are you, Adam? Where are you? I heard you. But I was afraid and I was ashamed. I come to tell you that when you sin, sin brings shame. Sin brings shame. Sin also brings rejection. It brings rejection. It brings abuse. What's the first thing Adam said to God? It's that woman that you gave me. The one you. I just call her flesh and my flesh and bone and my bone. But now she ain't nothing. Yes. She gave me something. I, you didn't have to take it. Where are you? Where are you? Yes. Where are you? Deep call is unto deep. Where are you? Amen. Where are you? Yes. Where are you? Shame and guilt and fear and nakedness brings brings rejection. Rejection is a, a pain, a very hurtful thing. Rejection is a deep hurt. And in Psalms 42, we see that the psalmist is lamenting and he's crying from a deep hurt. Adam and Eve were kicked out of the garden and so rejection is a deep 
hurt. Anybody been rejected today? Yes. Anybody ever been rejected? Yes, yes. Well, they were rejected. Yes. They were kicked out. Yes. And that's a deep hurt. Okay. I'm being made fun of. I'm a teacher. And the kids tell me every day that this one is making fun of them and that one's making... Being made fun of is a deep hurt. Amen. Being not being taken seriously is a deep hurt. Yes. God said the day you eat it, you gonna die. Thank you, baby. You gonna die. They didn't take God serious. That's a deep hurt. That hurt God. He longed to talk to them again in the cool of the evening. He lost fellowship with their God. Where are you, Adam? Where are you, Stephanie? Where are you, Betty? Where are you, Johnson? Where are you, James? Where are you? Yes. We used to talk. But you don't talk to me no more. No, no, no. You don't talk to me no more. And you ain't listening either. Mm -hmm. Because if you studied, I tell you some things. Mm -hmm. I want to give you some deep word. I want to get in deep with you. Yes. God's word is alive. Yes. It's alive. And it's powerful. Sharp. And it's sharp. Yes. It's sharp just like a surgeon's knife. It ain't raggedy. It don't cut you and mess you all up and bruise you up and you get church hurt and you don't come back. His word is alive and it's sharp and it's powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword and it pierces and divides the thunder, soul and spirit and joy and marrow. And it's the discerner of the thoughts and the intent of your heart. Where are you? I miss you. I miss our time together. Did God. That hovered mm -hmm. over the waters yeah. is calling you. Where are you? Yes, yes. Where are you? Where are you, my child? Mm -hmm. Where are you? Why won't you let me discern you? Mm -hmm. Why don't you let me teach you who you are? Yeah. Why don't Come you on. let me get in and get all that ugly out? Yeah. Come on. Why don't you let me speak to you spirit to spirit the way we used to? Come on, yes, without all the static, yes, Come on, all the flesh. Yes. Yes, deep is calling unto deep. Yes, 